All right, so let's talk about strike zones. A fish's strike zone is the distance that they're willing to move to attack a bait. And there's a lot of different conditions that, that uh, decide what size the strike zone is gonna be. So if you have a fish, it's got a small strike zone, they're not willing to move very far to attack a bait, there's a lot of different reasons for that. It could be that there's extreme temperatures, whether it's cold or hot, um, it's just not the right range for them. They're not very aggressive because of that. Uh, could be low visibility, which means that the water is muddy. The fish aren't able to see. It might be at night. Um, it could be cold front conditions, you know, adverse weather conditions that are making them less active. And then it could be high current where they're sticking to one little eddy zone outside of the current where they're ambushing prey. Um, and, and they don't really want to move into the current that they just want to stay in that one little position. And then of course spawning is a really good example because spawning when they fan out their bed they're sitting on the bed if you cast outside the bed their bait doesn't make it right into the center of it they don't care but if you cast right in the center of it that's that strike zone the bed is a visual representation of that strike zone and they're going to attack it and then same thing with heavy cover if you're if the fish are in really heavy cover dense submergent vegetation they're not going to move very far to attack your bait so you've got to make precise casts now next we've got a larger strike zone now a larger strike zone means that the fish are more aggressive they're moving greater distances to attack bait and that could be because the the conditions are prime you know warm water perfect water temperature um, high visibility clear water they can see the bait from a mile away aggressive you know all these kind of all these different conditions kind of factor into the aggression level of these fish so when you have aggressive fish they're willing to move further now if you have a strike zone that's small you want to make sure that you're using baits that stay in that strike zone longer okay worms um, you know wacky rigs anything that can stay in that strike zone in that area that the fish is willing to move that those are the baits that you're going to want to use but down here if you've got more aggressive fish you want to make sure that you use baits that that can cover a lot of water quickly because you can you're afforded the opportunity to use reaction baits like that like crank baits spinner baits chatter baits you know anything that moves quickly you can use with a uh, with with a, a larger strike zone now Another thing to consider is that you have to be more accurate with a smaller strike zone than you do with the, the larger strike zone. So think about these things when you're fishing.